Jones. Hi, my name is Mark Poulton. I'm a real estate investor in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. I'm what you can call a no frills, no thrills real estate investor. If you're looking for the guy with the flashy car behind him or the you know, studio office that's all decked out, I'm not that guy. Go check out uh, Stephen Graham, I think is his name. He's got all that stuff and pretty smart too. Anyways, today I wanted to share my thoughts on um, knowing the rules of the game or uh, knowing how things work. So let me start out by talking a little bit about my high school, right? I hated school. Um, I managed to uh, figure out really early on that if I take uh, honors courses and AP courses, uh, they would add .04, it's called a kicker, onto my GPA. And I figured out that if I could just do C-level work, maybe C-plus work, um, then I could graduate with a B-plus or an A-minus. And for me, that meant no work at all. Um, and so I was able to graduate high school with a 3.89 average out of 4.0. And uh, it taught me a valuable lesson really early on. By nature, I'm a lazy person. I don't particularly like to work, but I'll do work so that I can be lazy on the back end. That's kind of why I'm, uh, why I'm into real estate investing. I don't mind you know, spending two, three, four years working hard so that I can kind of coast for the rest of my life or you know, take it easy for the rest of my life. Wish I'd... Uh, Wish I'd come to this realization on the work side, you know, 10, 20 years ago, because I'd be enjoying the fruits of that labor now, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so the thing about uh, success and real estate in particular in regards to success is there's really no one way to do it. Um, as much as your, as big as your imagination is, is the amount of ways that you can do, uh, you can do real estate. But if you don't know what the rules of the game are, if you don't understand the laws, if you don't understand um, the tax code, if you don't understand, you know, the ways in which, you know, you're judged, the ways in which you are scored, and I uh, would argue that, you know, your tax return is a way that you are scored, then you really don't know what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, So last night I was meeting up with a friend named Bruce at uh, a buddy's... Uh, I thought it was his birthday get-together, but it wasn't. And I like this guy. Very successful, very charismatic. Uh, I think he's a sales guy. And if he's not, he should be. And, you know, he was talking about he and his uh, fiance were, you know, had some debts. And they go on vacations and stuff like that. And he's like, you know, for what we spend on vacations and airlines and bags and hotel rooms, you know, we can be putting that money towards, uh, you know, getting some real estate investments, or at least being prepared for it should the, if and when this housing bubble bursts, and which I think it will soon. And he's like, you know, and we can have the 20% down and we can, you know, do that. And I'm, you know, trying not to be, not to be offensive or anything, but I'm like, you know, you're, you don't understand the rules of real estate investing. If you think that you have to have 20% down, uh, you know, that's that's what retail people do that have to go out and get a mortgage and, uh, you know, buy their properties from the MLS. And, you know, I bought a couple off of the MLS, but, you know, that's not, that's not where the majority of my properties come from. You know, they come from different areas. But see, he doesn't understand the rules of the game. He doesn't understand the interaction end to end of how a real estate transaction works. Um, he only knows, he only knows what he knows and it's not his fault necessarily, but you know, he's not going out there and getting the information. You know, there's, take my buddy, uh, over in the Raleigh area. I actually work with him on my W2 job. He loves condos. Uh, he calls them apartments. He's from Australia. It's, you know, it's a UK, Australia term, but he loves condos. He loves the fact that he doesn't have to worry about roofs and siding and front doors and paint and stuff like that. Um, and he's successful at it. And he buys his probably through the MLS. And, you know, he saves his pennies and he saves his times. And, uh, you know, and that's the way he chooses to do it. I mean, that is just God awful to me. I couldn't even imagine having to deal with an HOA. I, I mean, I deal with one in my my house that I live in. And uh, thank God it's not one of these obtru- obtrusive ones. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm always scared of the special assessment. Uh, we almost had one. We had to replace our pool upwards of a million dollars uh, for a different different video. But, you know, some people um, like the tax 
foreclosures. Um, some people like tax liens. Some, you know, I uh, I work with a couple wholesalers, and you know, I take the deals from them that other people won't take. And they know that when I say I'm going to take a deal, and they know my criteria, that I'm going to take a deal and I'm going to make it happen, and they're going to get paid. And uh, you know, they they work hard. You know, the oper- opportunities are few and far far between, but. You know, I'll, I could go to a closing and actually walk away with a couple hundred dollars. You know, um, you know, I got, I have access to some money. It's expensive money, but he'll 100% finance everything on the purchase price, uh, including the closing costs for the most part. Um, as long as his lawyer approves it and we do the rehab on the back end, you know, we actually pay for that. And, uh, and it works out well. But see, I understand the end-to-end system on, on how this works. I know how I can purchase a property for ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 that's been boarded up for four or five years that uh, is basically unsellable on the MLS. I'm able to purchase that property and I'm able to rehab it and rent it out. And, uh, you know, I don't need a mortgage for something like that. And so my, I guess in conclusion, you really need to understand how a system works and real estate is a system end to end front to back. And, you know, that includes the laws that includes the, uh, you know, housing code that includes the financing that includes the tax side. And once you, once you understand all these different parts and all these different segments of real estate and the, and the particular niche that you're in, you're going to find that you're going to be able to exploit that to your advantage. And hopefully you'll find a little niche like we have that nobody else is in that I'm aware of and take advantage of. Anyways, I hope you love the you won't stop me lifestyle because you won't stop me. And I hope that uh, you go out and find success.